Hi, Wrightsville kids. I'm Pastor Julia. And today I have a really cool story from the Bible to tell you about. One of Jesus' friends was named Peter. And Peter loved Jesus. Peter was so passionate and wanted to follow Jesus around everywhere. And Peter thought that he was always going to love Jesus that much. Have you ever had a best friend like that? Someone that you know you're going to be friends with for your whole, whole lifetimes of fit infinity. Well, that's how Peter felt about Jesus. Except one night when Jesus was arrested and taken to the cross, Peter got really scared. And some people came up and asked him if he was one of Jesus' friends. And he said no. And then they asked him again, and he said no again. And they asked him a third time, and he said he'd never even met Jesus. Whew. Can you imagine saying that about your best friend? Well, we know after Easter that something amazing happened, which is that even though Jesus was killed, he came back to life. He was resurrected. But Peter was kind of nervous to see Jesus. He wanted to see him because they were friends, but he was scared. Wouldn't Jesus be mad at him? Well, a couple of days passed and Peter still hadn't seen Jesus. And then Peter and some of his other friends were doing something they did a lot, which is go fishing. Have you ever been fishing? Well, when they were coming out of their boats and getting onto shore, they saw Jesus. And Peter was so nervous because he was sure Jesus would be mad. But do you know what Jesus was doing? Jesus was making them all breakfast. What? Isn't that cool? And Jesus and Peter and all their other friends sat around a campfire and ate food together. And then Jesus took Peter aside. And Peter was sure that this was when Jesus was going to say how mad he really was. But instead, he just said really simply, do you love me? And Peter said, yes, I love you, Jesus. And Jesus said, feed my sheep. Which means basically, take care of my people, the same people that you love and that I love. It was so cool because even though Peter didn't even imagine how Jesus wouldn't be mad at him, Jesus forgave him. Have you ever been forgiven by a friend? It feels really, really good. I hope you know that no matter what, Jesus will always love you. Even when you mess up really bad, Jesus will still be there and will be happy to be your friend. Let's say a prayer now together. God, thank you for making me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me even when I mess up. In Jesus' name, amen.